Hi boys and girls, it's Friday the 26th of February today. Well done for all of your hard work this, this week. Me and Mrs Bullimore and Mrs Stickley are really proud of everything that you're sending in and well done for keeping up the great work, okay? It's Friday today and today we're going to be doing a little bit of mental arithmetic like we normally do, but there's also some other work for you to do on bar charts which is, which is on the school system as well, okay? So as always, what I want you to do is pause the video here have a go at solving these questions on your own at home, and then I'll go through the answers with you. Well done, boys and girls. We're working with those larger numbers again. 3,409 and 9 add 3,382. We put one of the numbers on the top. We put the other number beneath it, but making sure so we line up our thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. Making sure we've got an add sign and we've got an equal sign here too. Okay, 9 add 2 is 11. That's made of a 1 and then an exchanged 10. Okay, 0 add 8 is 8. Don't forget that 10 down there. That makes 9, 9 in the tens column. 400 add 300 is 700. 3000 add 3000 is 6000. 6791. 301 subtract 27. We set it out, bigger number on top because we're always taken away from that larger amount. 301 subtract 20, 7. Subtract sign equals sign. We always start with our ones, this column here. One subtract seven. Here's one, I can't take seven away from it. It's quite difficult. We need to make it bigger. So what we normally do is we look at the tens column here. We've got nothing in the tens column. So I have to go over again into the hundreds where I can exchange 100, I change that to a two, I exchange that 100 for 10 tens because 10 tens equals 100. Now, I can look at my tens column. I've got 10 tens in there. Let's exchange one of those for 10 ones. 11 subtract 7 is 4. 9 subtract 2 is 7. 2 subtract nothing. So I've got nothing representing the hundreds in the number below. 2 subtract nothing is 2. My answer is 274. Now then. Here's the final one, 46 times 2. We put the large number on top, and we put the number and multiplying it by beneath the 6 in the 1's column. Put some multiplication sign there, put the equal sign. We always multiply our 1's first, so 6 times 2. Or we can do 2 times 6, which equals 12. 12 is a two-digit number, it's made of two 1's and a 10. I take those two ones and I pop them just here in the ones column. I take that 10 of the 12 and I pop it down here. Put a circle around it because I need to add that on later. Now, we look at our tens. Four tens multiplied by two is eight tens. And don't forget to add on that other 10 there. Eight tens add one 10 equals nine. My answer is 90. Two. How did you get on, boys and girls? Could you work out the answers? Well done if you did. Here are your arithmetic questions for this week. So give yourself 10 minutes, see how many you can do, and the answers will be on the next page. All of this is available on the website, or if you want to, I can zoom in now and you can pause the video, write your questions down, then give yourself 10 minutes, okay? I'll zoom in now, give you time to pause, and then I'll move on to the answers, okay? I would move on to the answers. Oh, here we go. Lovely. So take a little screenshot of that, answer the questions, and then get the answers on the next page. Well done, boys and girls, how did you get on? 
Did you find that you could use your math skills and you're getting a little bit quicker? Well done if you did. You're doing a great job. Here are your answers. So again, pause the video here, and then you can tick your answers off or screenshot the uh, video if you want to. Um, brilliant stuff. Well done. Okay. Don't forget to log on to Mathletics for some tasks for this week, something a little bit different, but also on the website, there's a few more bar chart examples for you to have a go at too. Well done for all of your hard work and enjoy your weekend. Well done. Speak to you soon.